Paul has seemed very confident in his ability to knock out an Eason Gig. Gig, in his amateur fights we've seen, has an incredibly unorthodox style, obviously not trained as a professional oh. boxer. And you could see immediately just diving in to Paul. He's put out of pressure on for the first second. I knew he would. That is the way to do it. Go out there and let him know that you're here to fight. You're not afraid. He seems like he has some head movement with it as well. Crouching in a very unorthodox fashion. Look like that was an early headbutt. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. stop, stop. Jake Paul training at Big Bear, isolating with Shane Mosley. Feeling like his brother Logan in L.A. was a bit distracted in his training for KSI. Good job from Jake. That's what he needs to do. If he, if he wants to take him further in the fight, he needs to start with the jab. As in any fight, but especially with state viewers, whoever lands the first clean, hard shot, that's the guy that tends to take control of the fight early. Yes, you got to earn respect. You have to earn that respect. Gibb nearly losing his footing there. I mean, you can just see how incredibly unique the style is from Gibb. Crouching wildly. Oh! And that is going to be a knockdown. It's a flash knockdown, but he looks kind of hurt to me. You don't want to go rushing in there without throwing punches. Being in his face isn't enough. you got to be active. We'll see if Paul can end this quickly. Remember, this is about revenge for Jake Paul. I like how he went back to the jab, even after he had him hurt. He wants a shot at KSI. He only gets it if he takes care of Gibb. That's another knockdown. But Eason Gibb having all kinds of trouble staying on his feet. Gibb needs to move his head on his way in. Devin, how does Paul finish him here? Go back to the jab, stay relaxed, don't try to rush it. That was a good jab. He needs to stay on the jab. He's hurting him with just a jab. Yeah, he really is. That jab is backing up on Eason Gibb. Once you, once you start landing, finding a home with the jab, the combination will follow right after. Jake is staying very calm. He knows exactly what he wants to do in there. He's working behind the jab. Oh, big right hand that lands. He's hurt. Gibb is hurt. And oh. now he's down again. And that is it. Jake Paul with a first round destruction of an Eason Gibb. Definitely made a statement with that performance. And his brother Logan celebrates an emphatic first round knockout victory as KSI looks on concerned knowing that he very well may be next. And that's exactly what Jake Paul is calling for, shouting to KSI in the crowd. Jake Paul said he had the boxing bug. Well, man, that's the boat. He's got the flu now. He'll, he'll never cure the bug after this. I'm most impressed with how he used his jab. Even when he had him hurt, he went back to the jab, and that's very important. Just totally outclassing Anise and Gibb in that first round, Devin. Yes, yes, he definitely did. It's an interesting point you bring up, though, especially with somebody who doesn't have the experience. You can see them get outside themselves when they smell blood, but. Jake was able to stay very much within his game plan with that jab. Yes. I'm actually impressed. I mean, I didn't expect that. He went in there, he used his jab, he used some combinations. And when he got him hurt, he didn't just go for the kill. How distracting can it be for a fighter when you're going up against someone whose style was as wild as Gibbs was? Yes, that's what I was really wanting to see, how he was going to deal with the pressure, how he was going to deal with somebody coming at him so unorthodox as Gibbs, and he handled it well. Take a look at the replays of what was a three knockdown first round courtesy of Jake Paul. Anissa Gibb being put down, and then that left hand sent him down again. And Devin, finally, Jake Paul finished it off. Beautiful right hook. That was a beautiful right hook. 
And Jake Paul actually told us yesterday, Devin, that he thought it would be the check hook that would end the night. He was throwing them. Set him down with the right hand. I'm very much impressed. Paul talked about loving the feeling of being back in competitive sports, grew up wanting to play in the NFL, was a wrestler, said this really brings him back to his roots. And Shane Mosley talked about him having that athletic mentality. Yes. And that was the difference in this fight. He, is, you know, he, he, um, he never had any, uh, he, never was, he never played any sports, he never had uh, This was the first athletic thing that he really done, and uh, it showed. This make you excited to see a Jake Paul KSI fight? Yeah, I'm actually excited, you know. Uh, through all this build up, it, it got me intrigued in the fight. I wanna see what happens. Jake Paul has stated, look, my brother will tell you publicly, I, Jake, am the better fighter. So I absolutely believe I will take care of KSI. It was Logan Paul who lost a split decision against KSI with a controversial two-point deduction. And I would think at some point in the near future, we will see Jake Paul look to officially avenge the loss his brother suffered to KSI. He went in there, he, he stayed relaxed, he used a jab. And we didn't see too many body shots, but he looked good to me. Looked good and took care of Anise and Gibb very quickly as we get the particulars from David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Christopher Young calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, two minutes and 18 seconds of round number one. Your winner by TKO, the problem child, Jake Paul.